hello and good morning. Welcome to an idyllic, beautiful location on the outskirts of Bristol with plenty of amazing cars. So today we're going to have a little walk around this breakfast meet and show you what is going on. Here we begin with an Urus, a very peculiar purple that looks very, very nice. Rate it a lot. A nice lineup of cars here, but I've seen this. Just want to mention the attention to detail is unbelievable. Look at that. Now, I don't know anything about bikes, really, but I just love the attention to detail on this. It's really nice. Here we go, so we've got a couple of caterums, slash kit cars. Glorious outfit here as well, really nice. There we are, that was a Fiat, that one, apparently. Never, ever seen a Fiat convertible, but there we are. So we've got proper genuine leather here. It looks awesome, and then... Wooden interior in that look. Got an Alpha looking nice. Bright red for us. Three AMGs, anything? Remember, I only seem to remember the original McLarens, so I'm not going to try and name them. There's so many of them with very close numbers. So there it is, with a pretty interesting brown interior. So we've got an RS3, not too much of a common sight nowadays. Another C63. M2, it looks like as well. And we've got this absolute beast of a Mercedes, beautiful thing. And then we've got Kirsten's favourite of the row, the Evo. Yeah. Never see these 240s anymore. More Ferraris. It's awesome on those wheels. It's freaking awesome. These are such awesome colours. Look at those colours. Beautiful. Gorgeous MC20 as well. Gorgeous Lambo here. Looks awesome. I'm just having a little obsessed over the little drag we got here as well. Beautiful. Convertible. Level convertible. We've got the hard top version sat next to it. Yeah, but they're two different cars. I'm only joking. But yeah, they're both in the same colour though, which is interesting. Z4. Nice. And we've got a couple of fairly new supercars on the end there. An Aston and a Jag. One RS4 really. This team doesn't look so as bowy for once. And we've got an old uh, Astra GT. Look at that. Clean as anything that is. Genuine Mark 1 RS. Next to a Boxster. And we've got one hell of a Saab. Look at that. We've got a Cater in baby blue, which is just awesome with the orange stripe. Lotus. Don't know which one, but I'm going to attempt it. We've got a Morgan. Don't see many of these. Absolutely gorgeous. Multi spokes on them. And we've got a little lineup of BMWs next to the Hyatt, next to the Hyundai and the Nissan. Absolutely. That's an awesome look. Let's have a look. Two air look. Wide boy, as we can see here, a very wide boy Z3M. Now, you never see these, and they are odd as anything. You know, they call these the clown shoe, and you can see why for the resemblance. But it's awesome, 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 awesome. Like that. Lovely white as well. Up against this Ram, a couple of Caterham 7s, British racing green with a yellow, and we've got the yellow and black. Both look nice. So, you get your lunch included with this one, look. Huh? It's a wheel cap. Is it? Yeah, I had a... I had some more. We've got a G60, like one in a million chance of spotting one of these. I absolutely love. I think that is the genuine yellow lights. If they aren't, if they're lenses, I don't really care. It looks absolutely wicked. Just look at the splared arches down the side here, look. And down here as well. It's just such a cool whip. So we've got an M2 Comp. Maserati. I don't know if that's a Grand Coupe. I don't know what it is, but it looks awesome. We've got a two-tone transporter. It looks really nice, actually. And then we have got a Civic Jordan. No fake fucking painted yellow. That's a genuine Jordan, that is. Let's talk about some back ends. So we've got a C63S. And then we've got a Mustang GT. This is the 5 litre. What do you prefer? What do you reckon? Both in black, both a very different vibe. You've got the American muscled, chunky style, and we've got the slick German looking rear end on this one as well. So we'll jump around the front and I'll let you guys choose which one you prefer. Here we are. What we 
reckon then? What's your favourite? The Civics. The age old EP3. And we've got the newer one. Don't know which one it is. I'm not going to pretend I do. FN2. I don't think it is. The FN2 is a really butt ugly one, I think. Huh? Is that what it is? Because this is FK. Oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I think it's the best looking they've made, even better than the newer ones. Let's have a little scroll around it to the back. But I think this is the best looking one they've ever made of the newer type R's. Roller. That's a nice... So we've got another very rare French oddball. V6 Clio. Now, I can't recollect how many of these were actually made, but it was a very small amount. And you know what? They're becoming harder to see as the days pass. So it's a lovely car. AP set up on the front. Obviously, you wouldn't think from inside here that you're anything too special. But then underneath here, you can see the engine peering through. And the white body. You got the big side haunches as well, which would be air intakes, I think, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, absolutely mad. That runs down the body line as well. Got a very clean Sylvia looking good here, look. And lovely purple. A little lineup of Porsches now, look. Unless we progress, we go into the other halves, look. Might as well walk the way through. This one's got his bonnet open, showing off his uh, carbon wrapped or carbon piping, whatever it is. It's pretty funky. And we've got another one here who's been using Force Hammer. And we finish up at the end with a couple of uh, oddballs. This is what I mean, the variety here is just unbelievable. When are you ever going to see our Martini covered transporter next to a S2K with this gorgeous Vauxhall sat here as well? Look at that. And this is, might even be a genuine Spoon Sport as well. So, I don't know whether the Spoon Sport is a sticker or genuine, I don't know, but it is a Type R and it is a five door as well, which is pretty mad. And we have got the Cavalier. What a old relic. You never see them anymore. Never see them, man. And you've got these almost, uh, I don't know what you call them, they're pretty big in the Vauxhall scene, but they're almost like the the agri-spec wheels that everyone puts on their agri-spec cars over in fucking Ireland, you know. And there we are, another S2K in a lovely grey. And then we've got the Martini Transporter here to finish off. So we've got 135i, a sort of slightly semi translucent copper gold silver looking alloy which is pretty different and next up we've got a c55 now you never see any of these big old german brutes at all anymore next to a battery powered bmw uh, looks like an x3 or five they're so big nowadays you can't work out which is which it's a free it's big for a free yeah look at that funky looking very futuristic Got a Nardo painted, I think. Might be wrapped, but I think it's definitely painted M3. Which looks sweet. Look at this purple beetle sat in between all these expensive cars. Look. Lovely A45. We've got an M3 with what looks like Brembo six spots on the front. And we've got another one with AP. Looks like four pots on the front. And we've got another Shanku on it. Lovely. So, we have another bit of mad Italian styling here. Now, I'm going to show you this, it's a bit mad. So on this GTO, we have this. Well, that's pretty weird in itself, to be fair. But, the headlights are behind the bonnet, look. And the bonnet's got holes in it. Look at that, look. Literally behind the bonnet. So we've got the most recent ST in the same colour as the RS, I think, over there. Or well, very similar anyway. Yeah, that's good. Then we've got the RS that's literally parked on a small mountain. Thank you, Kirsten, for being in shot. Still in shot. There we go. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Not bad at all. We've got a few cool cars again. We've got an RS6, which is next to a Mito. Then... E46 M3. 
Look at this all white Porsche, lovely. So we've got a Sly Audi, an RS, and a lovely Mark 1 GTI. Look at that. LS 430. 4.3 litre V8 of absolute money munching miles. <laughs> You're never going to get very far in this nowadays with the fuel prices, but it's definitely bagged and it looks good. We've got another uh, Boxster again with the roof down. And then we've got what looks like a one. Well, I don't even know what that is. I just bought of some sort one series. And then a very nice RS. And we've got the fake 350. So I'm going to walk you down this road and let you enjoy it. It's only a few cars, but again, just look at the variety of them. Got the Mini with the funky um, aero. I think we've seen this one before, or one similar, but it's cool. So we've got a Cooper Works Clubman. It looks really, really sweet. We've got a lovely R. Again, free door. Here's one thing to always notice. There's very rarely ever um, <coughs> five door golf bars. Or is it the three doors? I can't remember which way it goes around now. Yeah, barely ever three, I think, was the comment I was meant to have made, sorry. But yeah, look at that. That looks lovely, that many does. Smart Roadster. We've got a Peugeot. Someone's bought their very large Discovery down here as well. And finishing off this row with a lovely gum little grey Scooby and a lovely Civic. Mate, this is sweet. We've got the sunroof, which is just a vibe itself. And then when we come in here, we've got the Recaros in there and the old school JDM vibes. It's actually awesome. I love the sloping roof with the window coming to the back. There's just such a cool alternative car to a Civic. Got another Mark 1, making the ST look a little bit boring. And then we've got this beautiful old Mercedes, maybe an SL500, I don't know. If it doesn't summarise the V dub car scene more than this, then show me. But this is 100% V dub life through and through. And it's a cool look. What I love with this car is that he's kept the wheel colour fairly similar to the interior, two tone. He's got a lot of abbed bits on there, ABT, whatever you want to call it. So it's just got some super sweet rare bits on it, but as you can see, he's got the custom colour seats. And then, you know, to go with that, he's actually gone all out and got yellow wheels. With the yellow sticker on the front as well. Fair play. Looks awesome. So, a chaser. Lovely car. Now, unlike Jordan's, the tip isn't wonky. Um, and it's also a manual. But I did think for a second there it was Jordan's car, but it's definitely not. He wouldn't be up this early. Now it was I thought that it was George's because of the wheels, even though they're not even the same colour, but it was just a sort of car. Just quickly glanced, I thought it was his. But yeah, I just wanted to take note of this wind deflector that is just the length of the entire car. It's actually mad. Also, an E46 M3, another one of these lovely Lexuses. It's nice to see a tinted windscreen has made its way into the event. I haven't seen one yet. Um, that will be happening to my car soon, not in that colour. But it looks good on this Mercedes. Then we'll pan across the rest of the cars along this row. So yeah, we've got a bread van with bucket seats. There's definitely something in there that probably isn't normal. This guy is from Wrapping Masters or works for Wrapping Masters or Wrapping Masters have wrapped his car. One of those three I've just mentioned. Awesome looking to be fair. We got a TT to end this part here. Right, here we have a Cooper. Now, you're gonna say to me, Lewis, nothing too special about it. No, this colour. Yeah, I know it's a Cooper art. Sorry, Kirsten's getting in the video and being a penis. Um, so, we have a Cooper R, you're thinking, Lewis, what's so special about this? The fact it is yellow is very nice. But look at this double wing. When have I ever seen one of these with a double wing? So, obviously, we've got the OEM spoiler. But we've got this here, which I would assume is an OEM Optional Extra or an aftermarket bit of kit. But I just, I don't know if I rate it or not. But whatever I do, it's different. And that's what we like about all the cars in the car scene. As long as they're different, we love them all. But yeah, look at that. That little lip on the back of there. It's not really a lip, it's a 
proper wing, isn't it? It's like a second wing. Yeah, let's get a little side profile on there and have a little look at that. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it works, but Kirsten, what do you think of it, Kirsten? I don't know. You don't know? She always looks like this. She's not actually miserable. She's just always cold, I think, is why she always has her arms crossed. I said to her she needs to, like, sort it out because it makes it look like she's going to punch someone, but... Come on, put the arms down. <laughs> Uncomfortable. <laughs> Uncomfortable. So she walks around looking like she's about to punch someone. Anyway, my 30 n Could have cleaned it, but we do respect them. Nice car. And we've got a Stang here, the battle wing. And we come on here to uh, Holder, I think that is. So we're walking down the final row. This is the last set of cars. We've probably missed a few here and there. But there's the last set. Oh, Renault, look at this, look. So we finished today's video here. Hope you enjoyed the breakfast meet and what it was about. Nice, quiet, chilled morning, plenty of cars, as you can see around me. It's still buzzing here and people are starting to leave. There's still a lot of cars here and a lot going on. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm off to a meet this evening, which will also be recorded. I expect this will come out before that as well. So you've got a meet video to watch in Bristol after this one as well. I'm glad you did enjoy this video and I'll see you again very soon.